It's co-op vault time. So we're doing a co-op vault with our friend Swarmy and Breakbeat. This is not my favorite theme, but it, we only need two monoliths. And if you remember from episode one, I died in my first vault. So the goal today is to not die. We also want to just get some good loot together. There's the first monolith, which, you know, with three people getting two monoliths is going to be a piece of cake. And I have to say, you know, early vaulting, like early in game vaulting is so different compared to later game as you progress. Inventory gets a lot easier. Killing mobs gets a little bit easier. Woohoo! We got an ore pile. And it's a nice size one too. I freaking love ore piles. I'm a magpie, so anything shiny, but ores are so important. You need them for so many things, and getting this big ore pile was just so good. I was very happy. <laughs> but this this um, vault in general was just very uneventful. There were no Omega rooms. It was just looting and getting the monoliths. Inventory was definitely a problem though throughout. But we completed it and getting that completion crate is so good early game because you get gear that is really needed. And we got, I'd say, a pretty good amount of stuff in there. Hello, hello, and welcome back to Vault Hunters on the Vintage Craft server. I just wanted to let everybody know that um, I'm so appreciative of your patience for episode two. I got super sick after releasing episode one and it's been a thing. So <laughs> it has taken a while for me to get better. I'm still not 100 percent, but I'm getting there. And with Vault Hunters, it is pretty addicting to play and super fun, especially now that it is finally released. I'm loving all the changes and I'm having so much fun. So I've been playing and recording, but without voice. And it's been, this video has been a process. So anyway, we're making it work. We're here, we're having fun and vaulting and all. So I hope you enjoy it and uh, let's get back to it. So I'm a level nine now. I've run a couple uneventful vaults, mostly just gathering loot. Uh, but I did get an animal pen set up behind me and an area for some crops. What we really need is a base because we do need to get sorted on a lot of our stuff, especially storage, which as you can see, the chest monster is growing. I cannot find anything. So we really need to get this sorted. There is a bit of land here that I want to build the base on. So keep your eyes on this base. All right, we got to talk about it. I had another magpie moment. So as you know, I said we needed to do a base and I showed you some land that I wanted to put it on and uh, I built this base. But um, afterwards, I recorded me showing you the base and taking on a tour. When I went to put the footage in for this video, I didn't have the footage. It's gone. It's nowhere to be found, probably because I forgot to hit record when I was showing you the base and taking on a tour. Then you might be thinking, well, Magpie, why don't you just re-record it? Uh, that's because I can't. And I can't really go into why I can't. You'll find out probably in the next episode. But I can't. So here's a very quick clip of the front of the base. And you'll see the inside as the rest of the video goes on. But I do apologize. I'm so sorry. I hang my head in shame. Oh, and that's our mob farm in the background. Anyway, yeah. We'll keep going. Enjoy this brief clip. All right, I've been doing my work in getting my items into chests inside the base, but drawers are where my heart lies. So we want to unlock those with some knowledge stars. There are so many good researches that you can do, like elevators and easy villagers and waystones and all of that, but to make our lives a little bit easier here early game for storage, 
I think drawers is what we need to go for first. I mean, there are colossal chests and simple storage, but I love drawers. I love me a good drawer. So we're going to unlock that. All right. Now the fun begins. I'm going to make up some drawers and try to get everything organized into them. So stay tuned. All right. So I've got some more knowledge stars and all that here. We're going to make some more knowledge stars. And the reason being is because I am working on a project. Let me show you. Just going to pop down here. I'm making a basement. It's still a work in progress. But while I did put in this water elevator, I think I want to make life just a little bit easier and unlock elevators. So we're going to make, oh, my door's open. We're going to make some knowledge stars and unlock elevators. I think it's just one. There we go. Nice. Woohoo. All right, guys, look, look, my loot monster. Look at my loot monster. All the chests and ores. Oh, so shiny. So we've got to get that sorted <laughs> and look at my chat, my crates building up in the back. Anyway, as you can see, I've got some drawers going on here for the vault stuff. It's a start. It's a start. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Uh, but I've got more to make and more to do. I mean, as you can see, it, there's there's no organization here. This has just become so bad. And I, I thought that this space would be big enough, but you know what? I'm rethinking it. I, I might need to expand or do something else because there's just not enough room. Guys, I died in the vault. So we got to mine the shiny pile because I need black opals to make the soul thingy that gives you all your stuff back. Uh, so unfortunately, the shiny pile has to go. We're going to fortune it. I did take vein miner, so we're going to see what we get. You see my body over there by the the drawers just hanging out waiting to be brought back it is going to be so nice to have this space back because we don't have room for shiny piles in this base i wish we did i should have left room for it but all right okay that's done now let's see what we got oh good we got enough yay i can get my stuff back all right, we've got to craft this up, but I don't have much refined carbon, so we've got to get more. I can't even get to it because my body's there. Oh, no. Uh, no. Magpie, you're in the way. Move. Oh. Well, I guess that works. We just need to craft up some more chromatic steel. And... Wait, why is this not working? Oh, right. We got to do this first to do that. Yeah. Shh. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. Everything's fine. I know how to Minecraft. So now we've got all the black chromatic steel and everything. We just need... Oh, crap. I don't have any Eyes of Ender. And I don't think I have any blaze powder or blaze rods. This could be problematic. Actually, let's go see if Swarmy has any. Surely he will not mind if we take one blaze powder and one ender pearl. No! Oh no! Wait, could it be under mob drops? Mob drops, mob drops. No! Well, he's got the ender pearl, but no blaze rods. I wonder if anybody else does. Does anyone have a blaze? Can I type? Have one, does anyone have one blaze powder? I may borrow. Oh, Zorothro does. Yay! Maybe he's got a plate at spawn that we can go to his base. Look, TJ, break. No, no. Joss, put you, Mergly Puff. Nope. Do you have a plate at spawn? I don't know where their base is. I have no idea. Nope, but I'm near your base. I'm on my way. Oh, cool. Let's go back. I 
I have no idea where they're going to be coming from. Okay, thank you. Oh, there they are. Hi. <laughs> Lava loud. Thank you. Awesome. We got this now. We can make it. I think I'm doing this wrong. Wait, no, they go, wait. How about I just click it? Yay, we can make it. Now where to put it? Um, how about here? Now, oh no, we need magpie. Magpie, come here. Magpie, magpie. Oh no, we're gonna have to break the drawers. There she is. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Hiding in the drawers. All right, come here. And on you get. How does this work? Oh, okay. So we just got to give it some money and then we get all of our stuff back. All right, we just got to feed it. Let's make some gold. So we're here at Spawn. I thought I could check out some of the shops that the others have set up. So let's go see what's here. Whoops, hello. I can walk. Where's the front door? Oh, here it is. Uh -huh. All right, down the path. Ooh, I see a money, 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 money sign. Oh, who's that? Um, Let's see, light on, there's money in the bank. Three vault platinum for one knowledge star. Ooh, that's good to know. And then vault depot and surplus. One stack equals 32 shards. Okay. One perfect canite. So for 16 refined carbon, we can get a stack of chromatic iron. That's pretty good. Um, One stack is one banyanite. Oh, okay. Nice, nice, nice. But she was building something. I'm not sure what, but we'll find out. And this is, I believe, Swarmy's slime shop. So, 64 slime blocks gives you four, or for four vault gold, or some soap shards. Is that five stacks? Wow. I should try to come up with a shop. I'm not sure what yet, though. Knowing me, I'll just try to give everything away. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed this episode today. Sorry it was a little, you know, different, but when you're sick, you're sick, and you just try to make the best of it, and that's what we did. So next episode will be a lot more vaulting uh, on camera and just a lot of other things, and I have, you know, that thing to show you. So I will catch you then. Bye! You said I was a piece of art.